behind me is the city of Venice. We are up on the bell tower that uh, was reconstructed in the 1920s because it burned down, or it fell down, sorry. Um, but behind me is the city of Venice. We've been spending the day touring, uh, walking tour, and then just sightseeing on our own. I think uh, being, this experience is amazing for our kids and for, for our, the coaches. Um, as, a, as a program, we get to bond and do things that we never would be able to do. So it's just a tremendous experience, and I know we're, we're really happy and feel fortunate to be a part of it. It's in the wall. I know it's a canal, but it's like a street, the main avenue of any city and about 200 imposing homes were built along both of the banks of the Grand Canal. These palaces that we can see here were built for the most important families who lived in Venice. Their power, their money, their achievements. You see? They were really... We only have four bridges. That's the oldest one, okay? 1591 that we will see from a little bit closer in a few moments. We used to have orchards, trees. Venice was a rural city back in the centuries, okay? Not a modern city with old buildings the way we see today. The city was paved. At the very beginning, they used bricks. In the 1700s, the moderns last with sea. Everything had an evolution. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy the tour and I hope that you still enjoy the rest of your stay in Venice. My favorite part was the gondola ride because it was really nice to be on the water and see all the beautiful architecture of Venice. Yeah, we made a lot of shots. I felt like um, even though we've been in Venice all day, you know, uh, had a little bit of tired legs, but, you know, we came into it like it was an exciting time being here in Italy um, and just trying to play and like have fun with it, but trying to stay within what we're trying to do. I feel like we played very relaxed. I feel like this was like kind of like coming back and, you know, for a lot of us uh, playing European basketball, playing versus European players, like it might have been like we're coming back a little bit more to our comfort zone, maybe what we're used to. Like, we're the best when we um, when we get a lot of assists. So, you know, we're really not trying to focus on, uh, you know, who make the most points. It's really about, you know, moving the ball, getting a lot of assists and you might have to pass up on a shot to get a better one. 